everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Play Slay the Spire on Nintendo Switch. Just joking! It's Mario Maker. I will do it. I mean, I love Slay the Spire, okay? It's, I'm not trying to be... I'm not trying to poke the bear. It's a great game. I even play it on the Nintendo Switch, even though the PC version... It, you know, you use the keyboard and mouse, which makes it, like, substantially easier to control. But anyway, Super Mario Maker 2. We've had, I, I would describe it as pretty subpar run of endless levels lately. But we're going to go back to the well for endless again. I have faith. Um, this, excuse me, what level is this? I ain't never seen this level before. Where's my level? Crouching Mario, Hidden Yoshi. If you don't respect the crouch jump, go home, okay? Go home. We're going to play a level. Sometimes people go, NL. You ever gonna make a level on video? No. You know why? Um, making a level is the kind of thing that warrants uh, more than a 30 to 60 minute venture. That's like saying we're gonna make, you know, we're gonna write an essay, but I'm not gonna take any more than 15 minutes to get it done. It sounds like an interesting restriction. But in practice, I think you need more time, more dedication than a single YouTube video can provide. Okay, so I'm immediately skeptical of the fact that this is called New Super Mario Brosh 1. Here's the thing. 1-1 one, one is not an expert level. One of the oldest tricks in the Mario Maker book is remaking 1-1 one, one, but trolling people with it. Just waiting it out, dude. Just freaking waiting it out. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. There's many enemy on the screen. All right. Okay. Con consider me trolled, brother. Probably a hidden block or something there. Who cares? All right. A little scary, you know, as a troll like that seems to me to be indicative of the fact that maybe the interest of the player is not at the designer's uh, number one priority, but who knows? I, I could just genuinely be incorrect on that subject. Let's just go forehead and just go fast and jump. Okay, there are other ways we could get around this. Lol name. You will not defeat me. Oh, destroyed. Okay. Crouch jump, like I said, you gotta respect the crouch jump. So I think what you do Ooh, what you do here? Step. That was just bad. That's a hundred percent on on Eggman. There's no no complaints about that. Now I wanna be clear. I am probably gonna be a little bit more open to skipping levels from this point onwards than I have been up to this point. But if I'm going to skip a level, I want to skip a level because it's not fun. Not because it's not beatable. You know what I mean? This is a level. Oh my god, we got so lucky. Oh! This is a level that's beatable. It's only when I hit a level that's like, you know... Let me... I, I, I always go through fits and spurts. I go... Uh, you know, okay, I'm gonna skip and boo every level I don't like. Then people go, hey, that's lame. And I go, you know what? You're right, that's lame. I'm only gonna skip in extreme circumstances that I'm never gonna boo. And then people go, that's not what I meant. And I'm like, you know what? You're right, that's lame too. I'm s like, that's just bad. But also, I do hate the obstacle. At least I'm starting to figure it out. But this level, like... Is actually a good example because this is the kind of level that at least right now I don't want to skip but I will probably be a little bit more active with the skips I think it really comes down to you know if you're not having fun a skip is highly warranted I have no idea what's going on here just for the record what is this thing I guess it's a giant mushroom maybe we could use to beat this section, but... 
If it's not necessary, it's not... I guess you apparently maybe need the giant mushroom to be able to crush the blocks. Maybe? Maybe? Okay. Um... Hey, how you doing, guys? So here's what I'm think. Whoops, that's my bad. I, I was hoping I could grab a shell, but that's not how this works. So here's what we're gonna do, okay? Sneak through here. I am large Mario. This level is totally fine. I also need to say, like, you have to adjust your expectations, and it's taken me a while to get here. But you have to adjust your expectations for Endless. An Austin level is not the minimum barometer for, like, an I like this in Endless. Like, that level is actually pretty close to an I like it. Now, I'm not gonna hit I like it, but still. Sorry, by the way. Webcam off for level codes, that's my mistake. Yoshi's Space Battle by Le Bin Bags. Clear condition, but who knows? Oh, okay, you gotta reach the goal whilst riding Yoshi. Oh, that's Yoshi right there. That's Yoshi, dude. I'm. Don't make me regret this, please. Yoshi, he shoot. Okay. Please don't tell me I'm soft locked, brother. Oh, you just get low. All is forgiven. Don't disrespect the coins. All right, I'll tell you right out of the gate. I know people are probably like double jump with Yoshi. Right out of the gate, I respect um, this level appears to have some some design associated with it. I will also tell you, I sort of don't understand how one is to make it across to this next section. Unless you yeet, you yeet the Yoshi, which, uh, you know what, there's, Yoshi's, they're a dime a dozen, we can get another one. You might be saying, NL, it really looks like you're, um, slowing down for some reason, right before you exit this part. It's not my intention, it just, see, like, I'm, I'm literally holding right. Yoshi just loses, like, a lot of speed. This, right now, don't take this as too much of a negative, okay? But this is where you could really use, like, a little bit of Austin polish. I'm just checking the stats here. You could really use a little bit of Austin polish here. You know, like, one jump where, where he tells you what you're supposed to do? I was like, I don't know, maybe we could swallow a Yoshi's egg or something? I, I'm just going to level with you. I, I sort of don't get it. And that's fine. I'm just, But I'm not going to spend 10 minutes trying to figure out how to nail one jump. 2-4, water run. Corrupted me. Oh, so I didn't show the freaking code. Every time, dude. I wish it would show up on screen. Uh, afterwards. So you can't really see it too well. But there's like a, there's a little door up here. Which I'm assuming is a reset door. Um, just just looking at the tools in the toolbox while you're underwater here. They're gonna aggro, presumably. You know, nobody loves a water level. Do I have to take damage? Like, I'm not against that necessarily. Um... Dude, I think we can actually survive this. Oh. It's kind of interesting. I get it. So the, the thing is, like... They give you a mushroom so you can survive getting hit once on your way down here. But you have to get hit once to make it into the next section. And then you should go as quickly as possible. Into this door. No time to waste. Please don't drop me at the start. That's coward. That's a cowardly move. 
I could have seen it coming, but the thing is, like, in Mario, like, obviously, what did you expect there? But still, what did you expect? How am I supposed to know unless I actually go? Dude, actually, this is okay. Pretty merciful checkpoint. Doesn't seem like too antagonistic of a design. Underwater physics. I mean, underwater is a little bit antagonistic to begin with, but it was good enough for... Shigeru is good enough for me. Please let me in. He's in. Okay. A boss battle. Wouldn't be a Mario Maker level without a boss battle associated. You're still alive, huh? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? What, what do you do? Three-dimensional flying boom boom. I don't want you in my room. We won't spend the night together from now until forever. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm assuming you're going to give me a, a... You're... Okay, you have one more phase. That, that's pretty much 100% my bad. Shouldn't have jumped out of the thing. Never mind. I'm a genius. Uh... Next section looks a little bit frightening, but that's okay. One more key required, okay. So remember, I mean, you're assuming you're getting dropped in red coin nightmare here. Just get ready to go. You know what's being asked of you here. Just, just end me. I'm ready. <clears throat> it's a bold move! It's a bold move, Lucas, to rely on the, uh, the physics engine of a Mario game to provide you with a reliable obstacle. That's all I'm gonna say about that, Lucas. It's a bold move. It's also a bold move to make you, uh, redo the world's longest boss fight. But I gotta tell you, you got- Go! You got, you got some chutzpah. I respect it. You got some creativity going on in this level. There are some things I would change. Uh, mostly, I think this boss battle kind of sucks, like, extremely badly. But that's, you know, it's one man's personal preference. I honestly think part of the reason people think that... Uh, any comment is negativity when they're talking about a Mario Maker level. It's because people don't talk, uh, frankly. You know, everybody, they always like, uh... And it's good! Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of positivity in today's world. Um... But it, when people, when you make something bad, people don't tell you. You know, they go, oh, good idea, oh, nice try. I'm, I'm not afraid, at least in a Mario Maker context, tell it like it is. The, the thing is... Well, to tell it like I see it. I shouldn't say to tell it like it is. But, um, the thing is, you know, we're, uh, you just gotta recognize it is like a, it's a safe place. Just because I say that the level sucks doesn't mean it actually... Or just because I say I don't like something doesn't mean I'm trying to be toxic to the creator. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to get my own feedback out there. Okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna try it without the key. Because we don't have all the key pieces anyway. I don't know what you what do you want from me? Like, but act okay. He's all right. Okay, so you you kill time a you kill time a little bit. You get some shells. Lucas is the classic like good idea, just kind of like maybe a little overdone. I'm on the verge right now. I'm on the verge of seeing where we're going. Don't worry about that low battery. That's that's a me problem. Like I'm just telling you. I'm not I'm not fully sure about what you got going on in this boss battle. Trying to get the helmet. That's okay. 
Keep, keep, keep shooting. Keep shooting, dude. Keep fighting that good fight. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Wasn't really common information when I was growing up. How many red shells have to get spit out of a bullet bill launcher in order to kill a mega Bowser? But, you know. It's not really for me to say, is it? I would like to... I'd like to finish the level. The thing is, you know, I, I think this is an I like it right now. This is an I like it, not so much on execution, but on originality. I think it's got some interesting things going for it. And I, you know... I mean, that sucked really, really badly. Like, I think the boss fights are a little much, but, you know... I, I would, uh... Acknowledge this one is having some original ideas. I would like it if maybe You know chill out a little bit on the battles of bosses You can you can make it here Bowser you okay brother Got him It also it represents something big for our personal growth, to be honest, that I even figured out how to kill this Bowser. In low water situations, it does require a twirl, which was previously too advanced for me. Please. Please. How many shells? How many spinies does it require? I'm begging you. I don't even want the helmet. I just want this guy. I want him dead. There we go. We got one. Please. Please. He's taking like 20 hits. Dodging this underwater is a nightmare. We're lucky the water level changed. Made things a little bit more doable for us. Oh my god. We actually did it. I almost died to the spiky there. I never would have forgiven myself. It's the, it's the pole. It's so close to when I like it. I don't think I can do it, though. It's just, it's not for me. It's a cool level. It's creative. It's... Did I like it? Sort of. Sort of. I'm not trying to be stingy. I'm just trying to be, I'm trying to be honest. Okay. Here's your code. Mario Maker 2. Cat Chaos from Moss Bras. Let's do it. No fear. I am a cat. The Bonsai Bill is also a cat. Cat's natural enemies. The mice. That was a, a bit of an embarrassing hit. Let's be real. Okay, we, we, we're flying the bullets up. Is that the thing? Is that what we're doing here? Um... Or am I soft locked because I didn't pick up uh, because because I lost the cat piece? I'm gonna assume I'm not soft locked and am instead just a dumb idiot. Please shoot, please shoot. Do you? Can I ask you? What I, I'm gonna tell you something. What I was gonna say is, does it only shoot from the left? Good one. Okay. I mean. I generally I think if there's a chance that somebody loses a power that's essential to their progress You should put like a pipe that gives the power up instead of the block But what are we doing dude? Gotta be honest with you, Maz Bras. Is this is a, it's a dangerous thing for me? Here's what I, maybe you can go up. Yeah, I got an idea. Go up and hang. You can't hang for that long, though. 
I mean... It's kind of, again, like, where's where's my Austin at, you know? I gotta hit it with a skip. I'm sorry to do it. I don't want to do an episode with a bunch of skips and no likes either, but if I can't figure your level out, it doesn't mean it's not my fault, but it's got to be a skip for entertainment's value. Sorry, I didn't show you the code. This is Pom Pom's Revenge. Uh, anything on this tree? Oh, you gotta love it. Really thought that was gonna work for me. I hate this- I hate the spring enemy, dude. Okay, I get it. We have to use the bombs. Um, watch out. Watch out. We gotta use the bombs to blow up the blocks. Easy. Okay, we gotta do one more. That's not a problem. A bob bomb, a classic obstacle. Using the strengths of 2D, 3D Mario, which in this case is... The music. Okay, do it again. Even better. <laughs> Take all the guesswork out of it. Okay, you think it, that's gotta be just a blind jump would be my guess. That's fine. Uh, I think if I had just been, if I'd been going three farts instead of two farts as far as speed goes, we could have been okay there. I'm not gonna let that sour my opinion here. It moves. The block, it moves is the thing, so if you just ride it for a bit, you're gonna be a-okay. Don't even get it twisted. Yeah, okay, so I'm a dummy. Yep. Help. Where's my help? No help. Okay, I know you got something for me here. Variations on a theme. Send them. Okay. Dude, you know what? I hope you respawn, otherwise I've done a terrible thing. Maybe we can just break it with our cat claws. Maybe we can just climb it with our cat everything. Alright. So that, uh, again, is my fault. I thought X would grab the bomb instead of swiped it, which is fair. But... Constructive criticism, just, yeah, looking at the clears and stuff like that here. Constructive criticism, my personal two cents. If you, uh, if you end up in a situation where the player can accidentally kill something they need to proceed, why not just have the thing that they need to proceed come out of a pipe instead of, uh... Really? Like, am I, am I dumb? I don't understand. Why don't I have the thing that they need to proceed come out of a pipe instead of out of a... Well, out of the ether, really. I don't know, I was like, maybe we could... Wait, 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 wait hold on. Do, do you see what I see? There's a cloud. I think, like, it's possible. It's not possible. So this is a deserved skip at this point, if, if that's the soft lock. Um, but we might as well uh, try again. You know, see if we can make it work. Because I do like the level up to this point, to be honest with you. Um, and you might say, well, NL, if you make the thing respawn, it's too easy. Yeah, but if you make it not respawn, you run the risk. I'm not saying this does that, but you run the risk of making it difficult for the wrong reasons. So I actually want to get hit once. I know that sounds weird, but I want to get hit once. So I'm not swiping at that thing. And instead, stand a better chance to just handle it. Okay, okay, alright. Ah. Ah. So the boss can spawn on multiple sides of the door. Or on the clouds, for that matter. You gotta be very careful when you're standing on the pipes. Or on the clouds, I should say. Okay, well I would rather try to be a cat then for the tolerance of having more hit points, but... 
All I'm gonna say, you probably you're tired of me beating the drum. I'm not Shigeru Miyamoto. You know, I, I I'm not a game designer. I just know what I like when I play it, and I try to give feedback that maybe people who are more perspective Mario Maker designers might find useful. Um, you gotta be careful with the with the soft lock, and you gotta be. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was on me. You gotta be real freaking careful with the boss battles, dude. Why am I fighting the boss when instead we could just leave, right? Why would you jump? I, I, we're so lucky to be alive right now. <clears throat> Like, I think, and I, I'm fully aware, you know, people, they're kind of dismissive of the Mario Maker level-making community. Anytime there's a bad level, I think people's original, they jump to a conclusion. They say, well, don't be mad at the level designer. They're probably nine years old. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. But, okay, no fear. Swipe this in here. I also think, you know... That's not necessarily fair, because I think a lot of adults are also very bad Mario Maker designers. <laughs> and this, this section is an interesting, but in my opinion, kind of horrible. It's just, it's just chaos, and I think that's what... It's a shorthand that a lot of people rely on when they're like, I want something to be difficult. They're like, I ah, just put a bunch of stuff on the screen. The ob and that's not necessarily bad. Not nothing, I think, in this game is necessarily objectively bad, except, uh, cough cough cars, which are definitely objectively bad. Um, in my opinion. But, what was I gonna say? I, I think it's way more satisfying when you have an obstacle that's like, you can see what's happening, but is hard to do. Like, straightforward, but difficult. Okay, that's fine. Now it's not fine. Now we're at great risk. Okay, so we've hurt the boss. I mean, I guess what I'm getting at is, like, what does the boss add to this situation? In my opinion, the answer is basically nothing. If you just had the bombs, it would be fine. All, all it serves to do is make me angry. I hate to be stingy, but I'm, I'm hitting that one with the next I don't like it. Um, but not a boo! Not even close to a boo. There's nothing wrong with that. That, that. By endless standards, especially, it's a pretty good level. Level 1-3. Okay. Puzzle solving auto Mario? We'll see. Sometimes they're just tagged wrong. Well, it scares you a little bit when you see that. There's no doubt about it. Alright. Um... Okay, there's a P block. It's uh, Bowser Jr. Perhaps, perhaps you've heard of him or his father. Don't you know who I am? Uh, I mean, I think I see where we're going here. Hit the P block, kill Bowser Jr. with the fire flower, or at least get the fire flower. Um, open, do something with the door. Probably should get like most of the coins, just so, or all the coins, just so he doesn't get trapped anywhere. I appreciate the endless fire flowers. That is very merciful right now. We get a key. The key allows us to pass through the door. The door takes us to a room with another P. Okay, so we're gonna pop out of this pipe. And we're free. Um, and there's another Bowser Jr. I understand. He made it! Oh! I'm so lucky that Bowser Jr. ended up on our side here. Otherwise, I don't know if he would have been soft locked, but it would have been annoying. Well, I've screwed this one up in a big way. Oh, thank God. Never mind. He screwed it up in a big way. Don't you dare jump up here, Bowser Jr. I'll be very upset. I know! You think I don't know that we got a low battery situation here? I'll plug it in after. Just work with me. I don't really want to ride this. I, I really just want to bounce. Because we got to kill him anyway. 
Hopefully we can kill him before we lose access to this thing forever. Uh, hello, Bowser Jr. Nice to see you. Please, please keep up what you're doing. Okay, so we, we've fully entered insanity territory. Bowser Jr., get out of there! This might be our last ditch effort here, it is what it is, you know? <laughs> I, don't, I actually kind of like this level so far, what are the stats? It's definitely not an auto Mario, that's just a failure of the tagging system. Well, uh, I mean, I thought that jump was good. Clear, I, I trust the mathematics behind the game engine, but still. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. That was a fun episode, even though we didn't necessarily make a lot of progress. We played a lot of levels that were pretty okay. I got no problems there. No levels that were truly horrible, I think. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll be back. Uh, we'll probably do some more endless, but I do want to play an Austin level at some point in the future as well, just to remember what, uh, what dopamine feels like. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time. See ya. See ya. It's gonna, you just sometimes you gotta hit the thing and then you